So my wife got me out of bed. There's apparently record number of uh, garage sales that are going on. So we're all heading over to, hopefully, is this, can I zoom? Ooh, look at that. That's horrible, don't zoom. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about yard sale expectations. Um, Leia wants to find a silver tea set. I want to find expensive ham radio gear. Neither one of us are gonna be successful in this because, oh, there's one too. Wow, there's a lot of yard sales right now. So our numbers are increasing, which is good statistically, but this is almost akin to, wow, they have their, they have their own stand-up sign. We have to come back for that one. This is almost akin to a uh, lottery, winning the lottery here. Well, they posted that link to the house that doesn't fit in in Sweetos at all. Mm -hmm. All right, I made a purchase. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I saw this box and I threw a lowball offer and I peeked around what was underneath the top. There's a lot in here. Um, I don't know if they're any good though, so Let's, uh, let's take this inside and see what they go for on uh, on eBay. So I have a pretty specific game plan when I go to yard sales. I'm, I'm about 25% to 20% looking for things that I actually want and that are going to be for me that I will keep. And I'm about 80 to 75% about finding something that I can turn around and flip uh, most likely on eBay. And how I do this is by looking for things that are small, that are worth a lot of money, so usually jewelry, um, things that are made of silver, uh, other things like that. And then there are cases where I buy things that are just a huge lot of stuff that I just say, how much for the box? And I just buy the entire box and I, then I try and sh uh, buy things or sell things that way. That's what happened here. So I ended up buying a box of a tracks And none of these were on top. Um, I saw this sitting on top, which it's uh, Let It Bleed by the Rolling Stones. So I walked, um, I walked back into the car, back to my car, pulled out my phone, and pulled up eBay. And I looked up the price for completed auctions on this A-Track from Capital 8 Stereo. Okay, the Capital 8, let it bleed. Um, and it was about eight to 10 bucks, depending on, just call it an average, eight bucks, maybe less than that. All right, okay, so here's what I ended up with. Um, I have everything sorted by damage, the price, et cetera, et cetera. If I were to charge single, just single auctions, roughly came to $445. Uh, realistically, would I get anywhere near that? No, no I wouldn't. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna take off all the ones that are broken tape, and I'm gonna take off all the ones that are broken foam, and I'm left with $229. Um, and that's if I just, just turn them around. The reality is, is that I'm gonna get a, my buddy has a player that I'm gonna borrow. My buddy has a player that I'm gonna borrow. And uh, I'm gonna play these, and if they don't sound right, then that's gonna be, <laughs> you know, deducting from the total. Um, and then of the ones that play okay, I can sell those straight up, and then the other ones I can decide whether I wanna do the foam replacement or the tape uh, fix, because uh, realistically, it's not that hard. The problem, let me show you what, what the problem comes in. Um, this one is a broken tape. See, so you can see the broken tape. Oh, let, me, let me change my hand here. So it's got a broken tape. Right? Um, the problem is, is that some of these you have to pop a hole in the label to unscrew them. Uh, this is not one of them. This is one of the ones that just has little pop-outs. You, you push here with a screwdriver, and you push there and there, and it opens up. So these are easy to fix. Um, some of them are not so easy. Yeah, way to go, Johnny Mathis. Man, look at that. Savior of the neighborhood. Let me get this on here. 
Got two coolers back there. I had a neighbor uh, whose refrigerator went out on them. And uh, I just happened to be of coolers. So I'm gonna go get her some ice and uh, drop them off. So let's check my hat. hat. Hat game's on point. Oh yeah, my shirt too. It's called It Came Out of Nowhere. He Came Out of Nowhere is the shirt name. Hey Ben, who did this? Uh. Ben, come here. <gasps> who did this? Who did that? Uh. Who did it? Uh. Did you draw that? Yeah. Hey, did you draw that? Yeah. You drew that on the door? Yeah. You drew that on that door too? Yeah. You drew that on the door? Yeah. And that door? Is that is that bad? Is that bad? Is it bad? Yeah. We're not supposed to do that, are we? Why would you need I don't know what it was. It was just, uh, to fill this with foam? Uh, Why would you need to do and, this? Uh, this is scary. Hey Ben, are you spending time with the cheese plate? Just, just Ben life? Huh? Are those your favorites, pistachios? Huh? Here you go. What is it now? Say thank you. Why are you drinking my beer, Ben? <laughs> you got it? You got it. Wrecked. Wait, you're done with the... I don't know. Did it die? It's still on. Damages! Damages! That's your favorite show. Where's Ben? Let's zoom it in. Say yes, I do. <laughs> do you have permission to use my music? Do I have permission to use your music, Richard? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Thank you. No. <laughs> no. Ben, this is the background. Now it's bad. Man, man, man no. He's like, don't do it. Get a contract. Don't. You need a cut. You need residuals. <laughs> Where are the residuals? <laughs> you need to sell penguin. Get him hooked. Then get this song. This is your money. This is your money maker, Richard. Did you get your groom? You get your grooming on. All right. 